mentally on the beach always hey guys welcome to my channel today i am doing my updated beach waves this is the most viewed video on my channel ever it has over 2 million views and i just thought you know what let me do an updated version of this because i feel like that video was kind of made rushing a little bit and i wasn't expecting that video to be that successful so in today's video i'm just gonna be showing you how i do my updated beach waves but i'm gonna share with you some other tips that i think will give you a better result than the other one so yeah let's get started so i have freshly washed my hair i have done a diy head treatment on my hair and actually guys i really think that you guys are gonna love that diy treatment that i did on my hair today if you guys want to see a video on that treatment just like this video so i know that you guys want to see the video on the hair treatment that i just did i'm just taking a curling wand which this one i think is by numi i will leave the link down below for you guys to purchase this one and i love it because the curling tongue is uh, longer so if you guys have long hair this one would be amazing because if it's shorter you can't fit your whole hair in here so this is great for girls with long hair like me and yeah guys so place your curling one behind your back and then just do that always leave the ends out this is the secret for beach waves you need to leave the ends out because if you curl your ends as well it won't give you the beachy effect and then once you release the hair you do this look try to loosen up the waves a bit just don't overthink the uh, wave too much just wrap it around the curling wand just as you grab your hair just don't overthink too much because you don't want this to be like perfect beautiful waves you want them to be almost like a little bit messy and undone and then once you take them out you do this look you're just pulling your ends and always keep a distance between your your hair so i'm gonna show you guys in the next uh hair strand because i see quite a lot of girls doing this and see they wrap the hair too close so when you wrap the hair wrap the hair and leave some space so guys my tip for you would be to rotate the size of the strands that you take so some pieces of hair you can do quite thin like this some others you can do thicker pieces just try to mix because when you mix uh, the size of the waves, it just looks a bit more natural and a little bit more undone. So that's what's gonna give you that beachy wave. But for each row of hair you do, you can rotate, you can do um one row thin pieces the other row thicker ones and just try to mix out of topic loving my makeup today <laughs> can't stop looking at it right guys coming to the front piece of the hair which is the best one to show you guys the technique so don't uh be so attached to what i do inside the hair from the bottom the most important part is the top part of your hair and the front part of your hair so i'm just gonna show you guys in details what i do exactly in here so and when it comes to the front part and top part of your hair is to take smaller pieces of hair because this will give you more volume as well take the curling wand and then instead of doing like with the curling wand like this get your curling wand and do that leave a space between yeah 
don't worry about the end we've got quite a lot of piece of hair here so just leave it there for a few seconds and then roll it down a little bit yeah right there and leave it for another few seconds and you see that this gives you a much more undone wave look That's fine okay so I personally don't recommend you to do in different directions Let's just curl it to the same direction the overall finish will be a lot nicer always remember to keep the space yeah here and leave the ends out You don't have to leave it too long, just leave it for about 10 seconds. That should be enough. So if you guys do your hair for a while as well, you kind of know the time they need to remove the curling wand from your hair, but usually I leave it no more than 10 seconds or before 10 seconds. And to the front part, I don't leave it for too long, just this much, yeah, just to give it a bit of texture. I don't like it when it's super curled. So guys, the hair is done. So what you can do is just to run your fingers through your hair, which I did already. So I'm not going to do it again. Just kind of do like that to loosen up the waves, you know. Yeah. Can you guys see how nice and kind of undone it looks and then it wouldn't be a beachy wave without obviously using a dry texturizing spray and i'm gonna take this one by ori bay and then just use some of that on my hair again just to give it some texture this really 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 guys completes the look So just use a bit of that and then what I also use is the Ori Bay wave and shine spray so this one will give you a bit more shine I think my hair already has good shine because I obviously did the hair treatment but just add a bit of that just to make it a little bit more shiny why not so that is it for the video guys don't forget to follow me on instagram if you guys want to see what i do on day-to-day -day basis i also share some makeup and beauty tips there as well so make sure to follow me and like this video comment down below share with your friends and of course subscribe to my channel that's gonna help me a lot and i see you on the next video bye